Hey, um, Tyson Fury news today. I saw um, he's talking about, I don't know if it's official that he's getting rid of his trainer, Ben Davison, who's been with him throughout his comeback. Ben Davison, I think he's only about 26 years old. And Tyson Fury himself had said when he was coming back that he uh, needed a friend more than he needed a trainer. Which like is a why, soulmate, uh, like yeah. a life coach. Yep. And I think after the uh, Wallen performance, and, you know, credit to Wallen, he put on a good show. Uh, Fury has decided he needs a more experienced trainer, presumably, and he's talking to some much more experienced guys. Um, one of the people that he did work with when he was with Ben is he had some help from um, Freddie Roach, but he's come out and said Freddie Roach won't be the trainer. i will be curious to see what um, Fury does and if he can make a few adjustments because one or two small adjustments and he's the heavyweight champ and Wilder's out of the picture in that last fight. Just don't get hit with that right that's hand. That's it. That's it. But that's where the right trainer is going to help him avoid getting hit with that hand because he can clearly outbox him. He As Ortiz doing did. He yeah. was doing it. As Ortiz did. So it'll be interesting um, to see. But um, not but guy, again... I'll finish up with the importance and how severe that right hand is, you know, with using this story. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know you love my story. <laughs> love it, I Thank you. And it's kind of like, you know, you can be winning, like you just said it. You said he was winning, he was outboxing him, right? It's kind of like that guy who jumps off the Empire State Building, right? And he's going down and around the 50th floor, you know, he's going past the window and the people are looking out the window and looking at him and he's going past and he goes, how how am I doing? And, and he's good so far. <laughs> you, you know, I mean, it's you know, you you're in there with you're in there with wild. How am I doing? Good so far, but that concrete's coming. You know what I mean? That concrete's coming fast. It's coming, and you better find a way to get a parachute or something before it hits you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Harrison did it his way. You know, box brilliant and what not fight. And I, again, it'll be probably tough for the second time because in some ways he put as fine or as good a performance as he could a little bit. I'm just jumping ahead, but a little bit the way I would look at the Fury and we'll do more of it, of course, mm -hmm. when it gets closer. But a little bit of preview of what I'm thinking, just touching on it of Fury and Wilder in the rematch. For me, it's going to be hard. Fury couldn't have box better mm -hmm. except for those two mistakes <laughs> yeah, exactly you know so teddy he could box better oh okay i got you but he in some ways he couldn't have done more than he did that night yeah so it's going to be hard for him while it could do more mm -hmm. while there are so many more things if if uh, maybe he can't learn no more maybe he's gotten to a point where he's not learning it but there is more room for Wilder to get better. Uh, Fury just has to not make a mistake, but he couldn't do much more than he did that night. So yeah. in some ways, I would favor Wilder. I, I don't make, I'm not making my pick now, yeah. but I would favor Wilder in that way, um, that he can have a better performance. 